We obviously would like to thank and appreciate the work that Stupa Analytics have done over the past three months in pulling this event together. I'm sure you'll all agree that the uh, setup that you see here really um, proves that table tennis has a place in India, and we're looking forward to working with Stupa Analytics and with the support of TTFI to be able to take uh, table tennis into the future here. I'm also very pleased um, and excited that you have the opportunity to be able to um, ask some of our star players some questions. So working from the far end towards me, we have Billy Jung from the United States. We have Manika Batra, of course, who you know from India. We have uh, Shridhar Kula. We also have Satyam Sikaran. My apologies if I didn't get that right. I'm still new to table tennis and learning everyone's names. And uh, Liang Jinkun from China. Sitting on the end here is a former Indian player turned Chinese translator who will help um, translate for all of the during the press conference. So, again, thank you very much for your support. We really do appreciate you being here. We look forward to you seeing some world class table tennis this week and experiencing world table tennis here in India for the very first time. Before we begin, we request uh, each of the players to say a few words and then we can take forward. Uh, maybe we can start off with you. That's the point. Uh, what, what's your expectation for the tournament uh, coming to India for the first time? Hello? <laughs> um, well, first of all, I'd just like to say I'm very excited to be in India. Um, I've been here a few times in the past for previous tournaments and to play UTT as well. So I've had such a great experience here. I feel like uh, the people here are very warm and welcoming. And um, I see that table tennis is rapidly growing in India thanks to players like Monica and Satya and Srija. So I think it's just really cool to see. And I'm excited to play here myself and just, you know, try my best and, and leave it all on the table. Monica. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, first of all, sorry uh, for my throat. I'm not in a good uh, position right now. But yeah, I'm really happy uh, that. It's happening for the first time in India, this tournament, a great big tournament. And I'm really excited that people will come to cheer all of us. And um, I'm excited to, you know, keep uh, friends who I can take, it, take out and, you know, uh, India the khas too. So I'm really happy and excited. Hello, everyone. I am very happy and excited to be to participate in the Star Container event here in Goa and I'm looking forward to play in front of the home crowd and I think it's going to be very helpful not only for the participants but also for those who come to watch the matches. Uh, we can take great learnings from this tournament and I'm looking forward to this tournament. Hello everyone, uh, yes I uh, you know it's, it's a great moment for all of us and making India a table tennis destination, you know, to have a, such a big event here. It's a very special feeling. I've travelled across the world, but to play in your home country is always a very special feeling. So we are super excited, like everyone to, you know, represent the right colour and I'm sure there will be a lot of people coming to support us and uh, we'll be giving our best to, uh, you know, take Indian table tennis to the next level. So congrats to the entire team for pulling up such a massive event. It's, it's, it looks really nice and uh, hope, uh, you know, a lot of Indian supporters will come out to cheer us. Thank you. Uh, I'm really glad to be here, and uh, I'm really glad to be here. Uh, I'm looking forward to play the matches and winning. Thank you. Uh, allow the floor for the questions. So. Uh, my question to Satya. Uh, you said uh, this event will go a long way to making go, uh, go India a table tennis destination. So if you can elaborate, what uh, does WTT coming to India means for the sport in India? Well, it's massive. I think uh, World Table Tennis, uh, you know, it's a great brand for the sport as such. Uh, they, you know, they are reaching out to every part of the world to make sport more global. 
So I think uh, you know India is a major powerhouse. I would say in table tennis, the way we are growing. So I think uh, to make India a destination, you will see a lot of uh, young players coming up and doing really well. So uh, you know, the next step is you know to make people believe, and it's really nice also to see a lot of top players coming down to India from China, Japan, Korea, you name it, they are here. So it shows the Indian table tennis has gone to a good level and uh, yeah, I think Goa is a very nice place, uh, perfect destination uh, for uh, the sport as well and yeah, I hope the, uh, you know we can be a sport uh, destination country where uh, have such events and uh, make the sport grow more bigger in, in the world level. Ask uh, all three Indian contestants. Uh, what are your expectations from the uh, from the tournament right now? Uh, uh, Indian players do they often take part in uh, star contender tournaments? How tough the competition is, and what is your expectation from this tournament? Uh, and what has been your best performance so far? Um, I think uh, I not uh, pressurize myself. Hello. Uh, hi. My question is. I mean, uh, pretty much answered. We are all very regulars in the WTT. Uh, we've been playing uh, throughout the world, like Jordan, and I think almost played 10 to 15 events across uh, in a year. Uh, so we are not we are not new uh, to WTT. WTT is new to India, so it's it's a great thing. I think my best performance was quarterfinals, but like I said, the competition is very tough here. It's one of the toughest events, uh, certainly in the WTT. So I'll be really happy if I can pull off. A couple of upsets, and uh, the aim would be to, you know, beat some good player. That's more satisfying. Thank you. Uh, hi, my question is again to uh, Sachin, probably. Um, as I follow him up a lot, and I have been following his uh, for a long time, his career, rankings, uh, greater height and rankings. So, as you have been playing for a quite a long time, you have already been uh, playing contender series for long now. Uh, many countries you have played and you have uh, brought in your rankings up as well. But having played in the home crowd uh, in, in your country itself, how does it, uh, you know, going to bring change for you in terms of uh, perspective of, uh, you know, uh, development in terms of ranking also and uh, getting bigger, uh, I mean, opportunities more in future? Uh, what do you look up to? It's very exciting. Like, you know, I know how it feels like. I think uh, we have. A lot of tournaments in China, China, Germany. The crowd support plays a major role. You get that kind of uh, confidence and uh, that extra uh, motivation to push yourselves. Uh, you know, in a in order match. So certainly, playing in home crowd uh, gives that comfortable feeling when you're there in a tournament. And I think that will really help us to you know go that extra mile. And super excited. And I was told also it's going to be a regular affair now every year. So. I think uh, it's a great moment for all of us and certainly like uh, a historic moment to have uh, uh, you know a, such a big event in India uh, year after year. One question for the Ensign Corona. What does the absence of Malo mean to this tournament? What is what does the absence of Malo, the Olympic champion, uh, he is missing from this tournament, he pulled out yesterday. So what does it mean? And, uh, is it is it uh, uh, is it a, is it a setback for the tournament? Uh, I think it's very happy. Because in these days, our team has been very strong. After the short period of time. Uh, um, I think it's quite pity that they couldn't take part in the tournament, but uh, because of uh, health reasons, and they're looking forward to play the same course match. Can I ask for uh, you? You actually said that you played uh, in India before, you've been to India before. Uh, how do you see the general uh, table tennis standard of Indian players compared to the world standards? Do you think uh, they still have a long way to go or do you think they are actually getting there? Um, yeah, I mean, I think the first time I came to India was uh, World Junior Championships in Hyderabad, like 20... 
12, something like that. So anyways, like from then to now, I've seen a huge improvement uh, in Indian table tennis. I see, you know, the staples, Monica and Satya, but also a lot of young players rising as well. And I think that's super encouraging because, you know, it's really great benefits. So I think it's really exciting that WTT is hosting a star contender, uh, one of the biggest events here in India, and I'm excited to continue to see it grow as well. Any more questions? Thank you, each one of you. Guys, hear my camera smile?